In this video, I'll show you how to find the resultant vector in the first quadrant. The question reads, find the magnitude of vector A and the angle theta that it makes with the x-axis. Represent your answer in polar form. The clues that they give us is A sub x and A sub y. These are the components for this vector. So we'll start off by creating a Cartesian plane. And if we create a Cartesian plane, we'll label this the y and x-axis. And we are told that the x component of this vector has a magnitude of 735 and an angle of 0. So to represent that, I'll use this purple vector. This represents 735. We'll call this a sub x. We're also told that a sub y has a magnitude of 593 going directly up at a 90 degree. So I'm going to use the color orange here. We're going to call this a y and it has a magnitude of 593. So what they're looking for here is the resultant. And we know that our resultant, if we use the tail to tip method and bring this arrow over here, we know that our resultant will be somewhere here where the tip will reach up to here. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to bring this back to where it was. And our vector will look like this. We'll end right there. So we're expected to find the magnitude of this blue line and the angle in which it makes up with the x-axis. Now to do that, we can use two formulas. To find the theta, we can use trigonometric functions, tangent. And to find the magnitude, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. Keep in mind that this orange vector can be transferred over here. So technically, it's also here. That being said, this is 593. And we can use the Pythagorean theorem at this point to find this long side. I'll demonstrate. a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. c represents the magnitude, whereas these two represent the legs. And that is represented by the letters a and b. So let's write in 593 in place of A and 735 in place of B is equal to C squared. Now to find C squared, I'm going to use my calculator. I'm going to find the sum of the left side, 593 to the power of 2 plus bracket 735 to the power of 2. And I'm going to square root both sides to isolate for C. Square rooting that gives us 944.39. 944.39 is equal to my C. Now, given that we have three significant digits, I'll only work to three numbers. So therefore, my final answer is 944 is equal to my C. We found the magnitude of our vector A. Now, all we have to do is find the angle. To find the angle, we know that relative to this reference angle, this is my opposite and this is my adjacent. So as suggested earlier, we're going to use tangent. And so what we have is our opposite at 593 over 735. To find our theta, we're going to take the inverse of the right side. And now we need to use our calculator. Shift tangent 593 divided by 735 gives us an angle of 38.89. And since we're working to three significant digits, our final answer should be 38.9 degrees. And remember, they ask us to represent our answer in polar form. So in polar form, it looks like this. 944 at an angle of, that reads, at an angle of 38.9 degrees. So there you have it. That is how to use the components of a vector to find out the magnitude and angle of that vector. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.